Hi, it's you and Halloween here making bonsai in Australia and close to four months ago I did the first steps in turning this olive tree into a bonsai. So you can check that video out in the link that I'll put just above. But essentially what I did was I severely root pruned it um, and especially <laughs> given that it was the first time I've ever actually worked on an olive tree I really wasn't sure as to how well it would survive but it did come through from the severe root pruning as you can see and at the time I also pruned it back quite severely it really didn't look like a bonsai at all so really what I was doing in that video was showing you the beginning processes in starting to turn something into Bonsai. So now that it's four months later, or nearly thereof, um, I've got a bit more opportunity to start moving. Um, now that it's grown a bunch of different branches, I'll be able to start styling it a little bit. So there was one branch up the top here that was the leader, which I tried um, moving around a little bit. So I'd gotten rid of a, quite a dominant leader. Um, and I'd hope to, to move this around with a bit of wire so that it could be a new leader going straight up. However, um, yeah, first time I've worked with this type of tree and I snapped the branch. So I kept it there hoping it would um, survive and reshoot, which actually worked for my rose bush that did the same thing. Um, but it hasn't grown any shoots, so I'm going to take that off. But um, yeah, whilst the wiring doesn't work so well with the thicker branches for an olive they can be prone to snapping these younger shoots are at a really good point for me to start wiring and putting into position so I'll start doing that today so firstly I'm just going to get rid of um, yeah my watched <laughs> um, wiring attempt so where I'd initially planned on having um, basically a, a leader that would go straight up. What I'm going to do is, um, yeah, I guess with bonsai it's constantly a journey of trying to style it and then just adapting as the plant wants to grow. So it doesn't have a central branch at this point. So I'm going to bring this back and kind of have just a couple of um, branches coming off on the sides. So, here goes. And I'll just uh, try and get that looking a little nicer. And So there's a stump there that I kept on last time and since had a shoot come off of. So I'll just clean that up a little bit more as well. And I've got a sacrificial branch down the bottom. So first things first, I'm just going to get a, a long bit of wire and wire these branches. How do I do? So just using the two branch principle here, so the two main um, leaders that I'm going to have. Wiring to each other there, just getting rid of a leaf that kind of got in the way. Now, that thick one that I just attached the wire to, that's just really going to be the um, kind of the stabilizing branch for this one here, which is a thinner new branch, which is the one that I'll actually be wiring. 
actually be wiring into position, should I say. Learned my lesson with the thicker branches from my last attempt. Would have wired into place. This one here did kind of, I believe, uh, if I recall right. Um, yet yeah, I was just trying to get quite a severe kind of bit of movement into it, which, as we saw, didn't work. Okay, so just that thick one, just lifted that up slightly, and then this thinner one, just want to get a bit of movement into that as it comes around. And yeah, really just making the, um, the juncture where I pruned it back and it was really short, just trying to get the transition there to look a lot more natural. Um, rather than pretty much a complete right angle, which is how it's set. Alright, so just uh, repurposing a bit of wire from the last time. So again, just uh, just anchoring the wire to more established branch. I'm trying not to uh, damage any of the short shoots that are on that branch. that out. Just um, accidentally ripped off there. Must have tried pulling it back too, uh, too abruptly and just <laughs> fully ripped off that branch. So that was a bit of a bummer. Okay, so those branches up the top there, they're um, doing all right. So now it's really just about where I want these ones here. So I don't want these branches to be too long without any taper. So just using the wire cut, cut a part of that to, to prune that back. So just pruning it to where there's um, a nice directional facing leaf. So yeah, this will bud back, have a nice bit of movement in that branch and then branches coming off. And the same, just keep my kind of relative profile here. Might actually leave it a little bit longer. Just to this leaf up here, which is kind of pointing out that way, or the one that's kind of pointing straight up. We'll see how it goes. Now I was keeping this as, um, yeah, basically a sacrificial branch, just to add a little bit more taper in the trunk. But no. There's nothing I can really do with it. It just kind of distracts from everything. And I've got the branching, which I'm setting up up here. So there's really no point in having it down here. I could keep it there for a while longer just to yeah, get that taper in the trunk. But it actually has, there's a fair bit of thickness down the bottom already. There's a nice bit of movement in the trunk already. And there is a bit of um, You can see where I've already um, pruned off a fairly large branch there. And then, yeah, with that one there as well. So it's already a little bit of taper in this branch, uh, in this trunk, and I'm kind of keen to start establishing it. So, yeah, 
yeah, it just really just looks weird coming off on the side. So I'm going to be a little bit impatient and just get rid of it now. Yep, way better. Just clean this one up a little bit more as well. So since the last time I pruned this, um, did actually get a fair bit of growth from, from that branch, so it did serve its purpose for a little bit longer, which was fine. So yeah, really just starting to um, figure out which branches are going to be surviving, um, which is going to be kind of branching out into the canopy in future. And I'll get rid of this little snail that's decided to join the party. Alright, so there's the update to my olive tree. So look, I do hope you've enjoyed this video or taken something from it. Now if you have and enjoy this kind of content, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel to be notified of my future videos as I release them. And now if you do hit that little bell symbol, then you will actually get notified, otherwise it might just pop up in your newsfeed, but yeah, it's a little bit more of an active way for you to stay in touch with my videos as I release them. So look, thanks for your time today, and enjoy. Goodbye.